What's up guys, this is Tony. Thanks again for joining us. So this is just a really, really fast tutorial on using the gradient tool inside of Lightroom and Photoshop. Now, a lot of people don't use it too much, but you know, if you are just starting to learn how to do a lot of editing, it's probably a really nice tool to be able to start using in your photography. Um, there's a lot of a lot of neat ways that it can be used both inside of Lightroom and inside of Photoshop. So real quick, inside of inside of Lightroom here, your gradient tool is this little box. All you're gonna do is you're just gonna drag it down and you can start seeing the gradient just start to progress. And you can adjust the exposure on it, um, you know, from being zero to, you know, blowing out the highlight or bringing it down. You can even change the color temperature on it, which I really like a lot. Because inside of inside of Photoshop, you would have to go through extra layers to be able to achieve the same exact effect. You can even uh, increase clarity. You know, you could even you know dehaze it, or you can just you know do complete you know desaturation of it. You know, and just you know keep it keep it at you know something really dull. It's completely up to you. But you have a little bit more control on the gradient. Um, what I also like about it is. You know, you can be really specific to, you know, you, you, you don't have to plan it just in one spot. You can put it in multiple areas. You can have it down here, you can have it down here, you know, and you can just kind of start creating, you know, um, kind, of, kind of, you know, just like a border around it. But I mean, you don't really need to do all that. You can just kind of keep to one or two if that. Um, also inside of Photoshop, I'll kind of quickly just go through that real quick. Inside of Photoshop, um, there's two ways to do it once it opens up here. There we go. Takes a little time. There are two quick ways to do it inside of Photoshop. You have your little tool at the bottom here that gives you all your filters. So you can just go ahead and grab onto the gradient. And what it'll do is it'll actually create it inside of the layer itself um, and then you can just you know pick whatever you want if it's going to be linear you, you have to manually go in here and pick pick the kind of style that you want you know uh, for this example we'll, we'll make it white so sometimes Photoshop likes to play little tricks on you so you have to actually make the changes manually that's why it's a lot easier inside of Lightroom to do it because you don't have to do that um, you, you'll notice that it's at 90 degrees and so you just start messing around with it start doing stuff like that you know so shaping it wherever you want you know so that's pretty cool and then the other the other way as well is you have the manual gradient tool which is up here inside of your toolbox and you have to actually create a brand new layer for that okay and then you just bring it down wherever wherever it's needed now the only thing about this part is is that it's you know you can you, you can control it to a certain extent, but um, I don't personally like really using it too much um, because you have to kind of like keep measuring where you want that gradient to fall. Um, so you know if if you have to keep dragging your mouse down and see where you think it fits best. So you know the fall off is kind of hard on this, so it's not always the best to use it. But you know these are the ways you can use it. So you can either use it as you know the gradient fill filter or you could do it manually and of course you could always go back into Lightroom and do it there which which is what I recommend which is always pretty cool to use too so that pretty much covers the gradient tool hope you guys like it drop a like a share thanks for watching